So hello my friends, Devon Lennox here, Photography PX. In today's video we'll cover the top 10 best DSLR tripods. Do know you can find timestamps and links in the description down below as well as the pinned comment. And also know this is not a sponsored video. Let's get started. As photographers we often overlook an essential part of any photographer's toolkit, the tripod. As you evolve, many times the size of your gear also increases, and even with stabilized sensors, sometimes hands alone aren't stable enough, especially when you're shooting long exposures. Not to mention, tripods are the only way to capture star trails or time lapses. The last thing you want in any situation is to come home excited to see you've captured blurry photos. Well, in these situations, a tripod becomes the perfect aid. While carrying a tripod isn't ideal as they're often bulky, there are plenty of lightweight compact options that make the results you can create worthwhile. But even still, the amount of tripods on the market right now is just obnoxious, and the market's flooded with knockoff brands, most of which don't stand the test of time, which only complicates things further. With that, we've created a detailed guide on what to look for when shopping around, and we've also created the list of the top 10 best tripods in today's market. You can find the detailed guide that we've created in the description down below or the pinned comment. But with that, let's get into the top 10. Coming in at number 10, Mifoto's Globe Trotter. Mifoto's Globe Trotter is the largest option in the current Mifoto family, designed as the go anywhere tripod for large DSLR bodies. Released in 2014, it's available in aluminum or carbon fiber and five different colors to easily distinguish the tripod when traveling in large groups. It folds to an impressive 16.1 inches with the same minimum height and extends to a maximum height of 64.2 inches. The aluminum variant weighs 4.6 pounds but supports payloads of 26.4 pounds, a key advantage over rivals in this range. It uses five section legs with two locking angles using twist locks with smooth operation and weather resistance. It also doubles as a monopod with a minimum height of 30 inches. The tripod also includes the Q1 ball head with three rubberized knobs with separate head and pan locks along with a quick release plate and bubble level. Other bonuses include a padded foam grip, a center column hook, spiked replacement feet, a five-year warranty, and Photo includes a case. Overall, the Globe Trotter is a surprisingly light tripod considering its versatility, and at one-third the price of rivals, it's one of the top options for its durability. While technically oriented at hobbyists, it can easily slip into a traveling pro's bag as a nice complement and a travel-friendly option ready to withstand daily use. Coming in at number 9, Peak Designs Travel Tripod. The Peak Design Travel Tripod is their latest high-end project, and rather than knocking off the same design synonymous with this category, they've redesigned this travel tripod from the ground up. Released in 2020, it's available in one of two variants, either aluminum or carbon fiber. When collapsed, the tripod measures only 15.5 inches with a minimum height of 5.5 inches and reaches a maximum height of 60 inches with the center column extended. This variant weighs only 3.4 pounds, including the head, which makes it extraordinarily lightweight, but it still manages to support a 20 pound payload. Peak Design explicitly designed this tripod by removing all unnecessary bulk to maximize space, and it shows. It uses five section legs with lever locks and a large hook design for added security, but these legs fold closer together than traditional tripods, making the whole package as wide as a water bottle. They also include a ball head with a small bubble level that fixes to the center column, and as a package, it uses a far more streamlined design than the Manfrotto or Mifoto alternatives. It's also reversible, so you can even shoot straight down. Other bonuses include a center column hook with a mobile mount, a quick release plate, and they also include a case. Overall, despite being one of the smallest in this category, the Peak Design tripod impresses. With this release, they've innovated with ultra compact design and their superior artistry shows. In this category, it's the best compact tripod around and the ideal traveling companion. No rivals come close in strength and size. Coming in at number 8, Benrose Mach 3. Benrose Mach 3 is currently among the most popular and most affordable carbon fiber tripods around. Released in 2015, it competes directly with Manfrotto's popular 055 series. Benro offers this tripod in two variants, either aluminum or carbon fiber, and three different heights. 
When collapsed, the tripod measures only 24.6 inches with a minimum height of 15.1 inches and a maximum height of 63.5 inches. The long version of this variant weighs only 4.08 pounds and supports a class leading 35.3 pounds. Thankfully, Benrose constructed the tripod from nine layers of carbon fiber for superior rigidity and long-lasting life, and it uses a four-section leg with twisting locks to secure even the heaviest camera setups. And the legs have interchangeable screw and rubber or stainless steel spike feet to improve stability. Other bonuses include a center column hook, a foam grip, a built-in level, and they include a carrying case. Overall, Benro stepped up their game with this new Mach 3 series. As a part of their most advanced range, it brings classic design at a shockingly affordable price. Coming in at number 7, MiPhoto's Road Trip. MiPhoto's Road Trip is their medium-sized option in the MiPhoto family. Released in 2011, it's available in two variants, either aluminum or carbon fiber, and seven different colors. Like the Globe Trotter, these color options are unique to Mi Photo, which allow you to personalize the gear to your taste. When collapsed, the aluminum variant measures 15.4 inches with the same minimum height and extends to a maximum height of 61.6 inches with the center column extended. Even with such a long range, it's surprisingly lightweight at only 3.6 pounds, and it offers a maximum payload of 17.6 pounds, enough for a full DSLR and telephoto lens. The tripod uses five section legs with two locking angles and twisting leg locks with weather sealing. The center column also attaches to a leg, converting the tripod into a 64 inch monopod, adding more functionality. MiPhoto ships this tripod with the included Q1 ball head with separate locks, drag control, and a bubble level. Other bonuses include a foam grip, a quick release plate, a center column hook, a five year warranty, and they also include a carrying case. Overall, MiPhoto does well with this lineup of inexpensive, compact, and colorful tripods. As a subsidiary of Benro, it makes sense though, and the road trip is the ideal travel and everyday tripod for those looking for portability with its combined quality, design, and affordable price tag. Coming in at number 6, Benro System Go Plus. Benro System Go is the heavy-duty travel tripod of the family, and it's a tripod they've designed to focus on familiarity, saving time to get you right to the action. Released in 2016, they offer this tripod in two options, either aluminum or carbon fiber, and two different sizes. When collapsed, the tripod measures only 18.1 inches, with a minimum height of 14.6 inches, and reaches a maximum height of 60.6 inches, with the center column extended. The aluminum variant weighs just 3.5 pounds, yet offers a class-leading 22-pound payload. It uses four-section tripod legs with three locking angles and twist locks with weather resistance. The locks also overlap perfectly, so you can quickly release them all at once with a single hand. The tripod also doubles as a monopod, adding versatility, and the center column unlocks from the standard vertical position, tilting horizontally too, plus it inverts for even lower angles. Other bonuses include a foam grip, they include replacement feet, a built-in level, and they also include a carrying case. Overall, Benro System Go provides an excellent strength to weight ratio in a compact and travel-friendly design. While it sticks with traditional design, it makes the tripod easy to use without wasting time, and it's a reliable choice for those wanting a compact, travel-ready option. Coming in at number 5, Manfrotto's 055 X Pro 3. Manfrotto's Pro 3 offers serious performance and functionality for the price. Released in 2014, it's a redesign of the lineup with bonus features and welcome improvements. Manfrotto offers this tripod in either aluminum or carbon fiber in two different sizes. When collapsed, the tripod measures only 24 inches with a minimum height of 3.5 inches and reaches a maximum height of 67 inches with the center column extended. The aluminum version of this tripod weighs 5.5 pounds, but supports a maximum payload of 19.8 pounds. It uses three section legs with flip levers and four locking angles, but they're now quick power locks. These increase rigidity by 50% for greater locking power, stability, and security compared to traditional systems. Its center column also has an easy one finger operation and the easy link attachment system. This system in particular allows you to attach accessories such as stands, reflectors, LED lights, and much more. 
It can also rotate horizontally for low angle or macro shots as well. And the tripod has a rotating bubble level, a rare but handy addition. Overall, Manfrotto's Pro 3 offers a distinct edge with massive working distance and range in both directions, and bonuses that go beyond the traditional boundaries and function, landing it mostly in a class of its own. Given its feature set, it's clear why it's earned such a large market share as the acclaimed go-to option. Coming in at number 4, Vanguard's Alta Pro 2 Plus. Vanguard's Alta Pro 2 Plus is a redesign of the award-winning Alta Pro Workhorse tripod. Released in 2017, it comes in either aluminum or carbon fiber in three different sizes. When collapsed, the tripod measures only 29 inches, with a minimum height of 10 inches and reaches a maximum height of 68.2 inches with the center column extended. The aluminum variant of this tripod weighs 5.3 pounds, but supports a maximum payload of 15.4 pounds. It uses three section legs with twist locks for securing and four locking angles. Each leg also has small rubber feet with a thread to attach spike feet if needed. It also offers a dedicated level on the crown and an accessory screw which allows you to add arms or connect external lights. The multi-angle center column also unlocks and tilts 180 degrees, and you can even rotate it 360 degrees for even more unique angles. Vanguard includes the BH100 ball head, which offers friction control and a bubble level. Other bonuses include two rubber grips, a quick release plate, an 8-year warranty, and they also include a carrying case. Overall, Vanguard's Alta Pro 2 Plus innovates. It's familiar in function but packs details and design that separates it from the pack and it offers plenty of versatility to suit any photographer from portraits to macro work, all in a package that provides a good compromise between size, weight, and strength. For the price, it offers little fault with plenty of style. Coming in at number three, KNF's Concept 62-inch DSLR tripod. Ken Faith's KNF Concept is a release that directly challenges Manfrotto. Released in 2015, it comes in a single aluminum variant. When collapsed, the tripod measures 18.1 inches with a minimum height of 16.3 inches and reaches a maximum height of 61.6 inches with the center column extended. And where it shines is in weight. It's incredibly light at only 2.97 pounds with the included ball head, and it still manages an excellent payload rating of 22 pounds. This tripod uses four section legs with quick release flip locks and three locking positions. These locks line up evenly when the tripod closes, making fast teardowns consistent with a single twist of the wrist. Its center column also inverts, great for low angle or macro work, and the included ball head has a built-in level and locking knobs. Other bonuses include a foam handle, a center column hook, and they include a carrying case. Overall, KNF's concept is a confident, reliable, and portable option at an excellent price. It makes the ideal option for those wanting a budget-friendly but taller-than-average tripod with a superb load rating. Coming in at number 2, Vanguard's Alta Pro. Vanguard's Alta Pro is the original versatile full-size tripod to pioneer the category. Released in 2016, it follows the same core design principles from the standard Vanguard line, which focuses on simplicity with sleek accents. Vanguard offers this tripod in aluminum or carbon fiber constructions with two sizes. When collapsed, the tripod measures only 28.1 inches and reaches a maximum height of 68.1 inches with the center column extended. This variant weighs only 5.4 pounds, including the head, which supports 15.4 pound payloads. It uses three section legs with quick flip leg locks with three adjustable angles. The legs also include rubber feet with retractable spikes. And like the Pro 2 Plus, it also features the multi-angle central column, which allows you to tilt the column 180 degrees for added flexibility. They've also included the swivel stop and lock system to securely reposition it back to the default position in a single movement. Vanguard also includes the SBH100 ball head, which offers two built-in levels, friction control knob, and a pan lock. Other bonuses include three foam grips, a quick release plate, a center column hook, a 10-year extended warranty, and they include a carrying case. Overall, Vanguard's Alta Pro was the original model to separate them from rivals, and as their award-winning release, it makes sense why. During its debut, it provided unmatched flexibility and stability, and today it continues to be a reliable premium option with an affordable price. Coming in at number one, Manfrotto's B-Free Advanced Travel Tripod. Manfrotto's B-Free Advanced Tripod is their latest release and the successor to the original B-Free that initially popularized the travel category. 
Released in 2018, Manfrotto offers this tripod in several variants, either twist or lever locks, and aluminum or carbon fiber constructions. When collapsed, the tripod measures only 16.1 inches, with the same minimum height and reaches a maximum height of 59.1 inches. The carbon fiber variant weighs only 2.7 pounds, making it the current leader of the ultra lightweight category, and it still boasts a 17.6 pound payload, which doubles its predecessor. It uses four section legs, which move between three locking angles and use twisting M locks. The legs also have exchangeable rubber feet for quick and seamless replacements. Manfrotto ships this tripod with the 494 ball head, which has dedicated lock and friction controls. And the tripod also has the new quick link port, allowing you to attach external accessories such as flashes or reflectors. Other bonuses include a quick release plate, a 10 year warranty, and they also include a case. Overall, while Manfrotto's B-Free carries over its predecessor's original design principles, its refinements make a superior product, and as their more advanced entry into the lineup, it redefines this genre as the best all-round tripod to date. It's the perfect option for both travel and home photographers wanting superior performance and rigidity in a light package, and here are the current benchmarks for the standards of a well-made tripod. So. There you have it, my friends. There is our list of the top 10 best DSLR tripods. For more information on this list and to read the full guide on choosing the right tripod for you, look at the pinned comment in the description down below if you're here on YouTube. Otherwise, scroll down if you're on our website and you can see our full detailed guide on how to choose the right tripod for you. I've been your host, Devon Lennox. We will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you found the contents of today's video insightful and it added value to you. If you're new here, please consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. Also leave us a like and a comment in the description down below. Let us know if we overlook something or we missed something that we covered in today's video. I've been your host, Devon Lennox, photography. <laughs>